I think first things first, you have to decide if you want to stay married. Uh-huh. It's a decision. Yeah. So from day one, we decided that divorce was not an option. Really? From the very beginning, That's from right. even before we got married. We're right. like, you know what? If we get married, yeah. divorce is not an option. Right. You right. see, there's almost nothing that someone would do that you can't forgive if you want to forgive. Mm. Oh, so early in the day. So early in the day. <laughs> there really is almost nothing. If you want to, if you if you decide you don't want to forgive, yeah. then that's different. But if you yeah. want to forgive, yes. there's almost nothing that someone yes. else would do to you. I mean, we all have to realize that, first of all, we're mm. all sinners. Mm. We're Preach. all completely flawed. Preach. You know, so nobody's Preach. perfect. Don't look for perfection in the next person because mm. you're not even perfect yourself. Mm. So we decided very early on in the marriage, yes. actually before, that divorce was not an option. Mm. So no matter what happens, we're in this forever. Mm. Mm. You mm. know, so mm. our first year of marriage mm. was very turbulent. Really? Yes. Why? Extremely. Because we didn't date. Ah, you went into it straight. Yes. We started dating. My Our story is very, very long, but <laughs> okay. I'm just going to break it. Tell me, I'm here for it. So we met, funny enough, mm-hmm. on a movie set. Right. Right? Right. Um, it was my second year in university, I think. First or second year. Right. I had, you know, my friends had come. I was in Uniben. My mm-hmm. friends had yes. come to Lagos. Yes. And they were like, oh, they were on this movie set. And I'm like, that's my dream. That's what I want to do. Right, you to guys, act, right. I want to come. You know, so right. they're like, oh, next during the next holidays, we're gonna mm. go to Lagos again. I'm like, I'm coming with you guys. Right. So I went with them, right? And of course, you know, back in the day I got one waka pass rule or the other. And it was on one of those movies that I met my husband. Ah, he was not an actor, he right. was not a filmmaker. Okay, what but his uncle was a filmmaker. Ah, yes. Right. Obio Sotile. I don't know if you right. yeah, yeah, Obio Sotile. Yes, 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 yes. Brother, like same father, same mother, right? right? So he was on all these movie set, ah. just you know, hanging around. He had finished university, yeah. and you know, I, I guess transition period, and he yes. was just hanging around. Yes. So that's where I met him. We sort of started dating almost immediately. Um, a few weeks down the line, he proposed. It's not the kind of like I want my husband to propose to me again. I want to agree. <laughs> that one was no, 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 in short, Nandi, you're watching. <laughs> You have to propose all over again. But that one, it I was young. Yes. And it was not romantic. You know, yes. It wasn't on the floor. Days, every day. Will yes. you marry me flowers? Or did you, I didn't have it. It's not nice. Yes. You know? We need to take two. I need to take two of the proposal. So, you know, we're just talking. You know, yeah. he would always say things like, you know, when we get married, oh, our children. I'm like, you know, I don't like assumptions. <laughs> what is all this when we get married, yeah. our children? Are you proposing? And he's like, I guess I am. Now, so that was my proposal, ladies and gentlemen. That was my proposal. I love it. I guess I am. Will you marry me? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Should I? I was young. I was young. <laughs> like, you know, till today, I don't know how I just agreed yeah. to marry him just like that. Yeah. But I, I, I sort of know that I, I fell in love with the way my husband loved me. Mm. Oh, stop. <laughs> I, I fell in love with the way my husband loved me. And then my dad passed. <sighs> my dad passed just a few months after. Yes. You know, my dad was so instrumental in put it, keeping me together while that case was going on. Because he's like, I just spoke to my pastor. Don't worry. You know, we are, we are winning this case. Well, you know, all of those things. After that, I think a month after that, my dad passed, yes, you know, yes, and yes. it was like my world just literally crumbled. crumbled, you know, it crumbled. So I made arrangements to go and the next day I flew into Benin, drove there. So, of course, I went to see him at the morgue and <sighs> have you ever seen a dead body? Yeah. You just know. Mm-hmm. You just know that they're no more there. Because it's so empty. It's a shell. So, you know, we all like to look good. We all like to hips, lips and fingertips. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, this body is a shell. I 
saw my dad. I saw my mom. And you just know that the person that you know and love is gone. And that's just a shell. And that's just a shell. And I looked at him. My dad's nickname is Mobility because he's the life of the party. If my dad comes here now, all of us will be like, so. Thank you. If my dad came here, we would all be like so happy. And so, you know, he would bring drinks and everyone's just like laughing and, you know, so they call him Mobility. That's like his nickname. And I looked at the body and I said, Mobility. How could you do this to me? I just kept thinking, what am I going to do? How am I ever going to get back from this? How am I ever going to get back from this? Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video and you connected with it. Don't forget, please subscribe, please like, please share with your friends and family. Please comment. We love to see your comments and to see the full versions, join our community right now or past episodes on watch.withtoday.com. Let's be human together.